Hey guys, welcome to Speak About Digital. In this video, I'm going to guide you on how you can easily use Jobber. In this tutorial, we will walk you through the basics of using Jobber so you can streamline your business operations and save time. So if you have no idea about Jobber and how to get started, then this video is for you. Jobber is an award-winning platform designed to assist small home services businesses with organizing their entire operations. This includes scheduling jobs, managing crews, invoicing customers, and collecting payments. Just before we start, please consider giving me a thumbs up, otherwise I will go ahead and jump right into the Jobber tutorial. The first thing that you want to do is, if you didn't create your account yet, you will have a link down below in the description. It's very easy to create an account, and if you already have an account, just skip this step and let's sign in. So here we are in my Jobber account. I created this new account for the purpose of explanation, so you can follow the steps with ease. First I'll show you what you can actually find in Jobber, and then I'll show you how you can use Jobber. After completing the sign up process, you will be taken to your Jobber dashboard. This page provides an overview of your account and is the starting point for accessing all of the features and tools offered by Jobber. The dashboard is designed to be simple and easy to use so you can quickly find what you need. The left side of the dashboard features a navigation panel that includes Create, Home, Schedule, Clients, Requests, Quotes, Jobs, Invoices, Reports, Expenses, Timesheet, and Apps. Each of these options has its own set of features and tools to help you manage your business more efficiently. The Create tab allows you to create new clients, requests, quotes, jobs, and invoices directly from the dashboard. This makes it easy to get started with Jobber and start managing your business right away. The Home tab is the default tab of your Jobber dashboard. From here you can add new service requests for your clients, send them professional quotes they can approve online, schedule jobs with all the necessary details, and send them professional invoices that can be paid online. You can also view your today's appointments, including the total, to go, active, and completed. Additionally, you can access your insights such as your projected revenue, customize your branding, and turn on QuickBooks Sync. Moreover, the Home tab allows you to create new clients, quotes, invoices, jobs, requests, tasks, and events by clicking on More Actions at the top right corner. In the Schedule tab, you can view all your schedules. There are five different schedule views available, such as Month and Week Views, Day View, Map View, and List View to help you visualize your upcoming appointments in different ways. To navigate between these tabs, there is a button at the top right side that displays the name of the current schedule view you're looking at. Click it to jump to a different schedule view, such as Day, Map, or List View. On the Schedule tab, you will see different types of items that have different colors and purposes. Requests show up in Indigo and are booking requests with an on-site assessment scheduled. Tasks show up in Blue and can be assigned for users for in-house tasks. Calendar events show up in yellow and are used for company-wide reminders. Visits show up in green and are associated with jobs for clients. They can be assigned to schedule someone to go out to a property to make a quote. The Clients tab is where you can add and manage your clients. To add a new client, simply click on the Create a Client button. Additionally, you have the option to import clients in the SCV file format by clicking on the Batch Import button. Once you have added clients, you can view them all in one place within the Clients tab. You can sort them by first name, last name, and recently active. Moreover, you can filter them by leads, active, and archived to easily find the clients you are looking for. The Requests tab is where you can request and track incoming work. To create a new request, simply click on the New Request button. You can also view all your requests on the right-hand side of the screen. Here you can see different types of requests, such as New, Assessment Completed, Overdue, Today, Upcoming, Unscheduled, Converted, and Archive requests. If you want to find a specific request, you can search for it using the search box. You can also filter requests based on the date range, such as this month, the last 30 days, last month, or this year. 
Additionally, you can see the status of your requests in the Status drop-down menu. The Quotes tab has a similar interface to the Requests tab. You can create quotes by clicking on the Create a Quote button. This panel allows you to overview your quotes with different statuses such as Draft, Awaiting Response, Changes Requested, Approved, Converted, and Archived. Also from here you can search for a specific quote and filter the quotes. The Jobs tab allows you to create and manage your jobs. You can create a new job by clicking on the Create a Job button. You can view all your jobs in this panel, including the jobs that are ending within 30 days, late, require invoicing, action required, unscheduled, today, and upcoming. Also from here you can search for a specific job and filter the jobs. The Invoices tab allows you to create invoices and keep track of them. You can easily create a new invoice by clicking on the Create Invoice button. Once you have created your invoice, you can view all your invoices in this panel. You can overview your invoices at the right-hand side of the screen. The invoices are divided into different categories such as Past Due, Sent but Not Due, and Draft. This makes it easy to keep track of which invoices need your attention. You can also search for a specific invoice by using the search box. Also, from here you can search for a specific invoice and filter the invoices. The Reports tab is divided into four sections, namely Financial Reports, Work Reports, Client Reports, and Expense Reports. Under the Financial Reports section, you can find reports related to your projected income, transaction list, invoices, taxation, aged receivables, bad debt, and client balance summary. The work report section displays reports related to visits, one-off jobs, recurring jobs, quotes created, quotes converted, products and services, waypoints, and timesheets. The client report section provides reports on client communications, job follow-up emails, client contact info, property list, and client re-engagement. Lastly, the Expense Reports section displays all tracked expenses and their details. In the Expenses tab, you can monitor and track all of your expenses. This tab allows you to see all of your spending and what's being purchased. If you need to look for a specific expense, you can easily search for it using the search box. You can also filter your expenses by their status, which can be found in the Status drop-down menu. Moreover, the Expenses tab also enables you to generate your expense report for easy analysis and accounting purposes. The Timesheet tab in Jobber displays the timesheet entries that have been created by you and your team by entering time manually. You can add, edit, or delete timers in this tab. The time tracked is displayed in hours and minutes. There are two categories of timers, General Timers and Visit Timers. General timers are not tied to a job and can be used for tracking time between visits, breaks, or unscheduled time. Visit timers, on the other hand, are tied to a specific job and the timer is started from a visit. You can allocate time to either of these categories. In the sidebar of the Timesheet tab, you can access the Approve Timesheets and Confirm Payroll sections. In the Apps tab, you can explore various apps such as Nice Job, MailChimp, and many more. These apps can help you improve your business operations, and you can easily integrate them with Jobber to streamline your workflow. In Jobber, clients are very important because they are the basis for all work. Things like requests, quotes, jobs, and invoices are all connected to clients. The clients are also where we keep information like their contact information and details about their property. To add a new client in Jobber, first click on the Clients tab located on the sidebar. This will take you to the Client Index page where you can view your current list of clients. To create a new client, click on the New Client button located on the top right corner of the page. This will bring you to the Client Creation page where you can add both client and property details. In the Client Details section, input the client's title, first name, last name, and company name. Then enter their contact details such as phone number and email address. In the Property Details section, enter the client's street address, city, state, and zip code. 
Lastly, select the client's country. Once you have input all the necessary information, you can choose between two options to save the client, Save Client and Save and Create Another. The Save Client option will save the client and bring you back to the same client's profile where you can view the details you've entered. The Save and Create Another option, on the other hand, will save the client and take you to another client creation page where you can create another new client. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Jobber. There are more things to learn about Jobber, so if you're interested in an advanced tutorial, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to make it happen whenever I get a chance. You can check the links in the description, that helps a lot, thank you! So if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for